I get to get back to work. Hey, shine like go. They don't want story, man. They want the sound bite. I'm like, no. Looking around like they see you on the mound, they don't see you on the climb. Right? Me and all of mine in the power line. Look at this and what you find. Right? Shimmer, lights, flicker, all this light, edit, shimmer. I had a glow up. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Josh Levin. I am the master and founding electrician of Empowered Electric. And today I'm here to talk to you about duplex receptacles. You might know them as a plug. Um, this is a 20 amp duplex receptacle and I'm gonna show you how to install it. Not replace it, that's gonna be in another video, but how to install this receptacle. So this right here is a 20 amp duplex receptacle. It has two sets of screws that are both for the hots, they're gold two sets of screws that are silver for the neutral, and then it's got that ground screw. Don't ever ignore that ground screw. Now the difference between this and a home plug, this is in a commercial application, and you see this little line right here on the side? That is the most noticeable difference. That shows that it's a 20 amp receptacle. A 15 amp receptacle, just like the 20 amp, has the two gold, the two silver, and the ground, but notice no little cross on the face. Also, like the switch, we've talked about these holes that lead to depression and despair. Don't ever use those holes. Most of the problems at your house with your duplex receptacles, 15 amp are because of those holes. So don't use those. But right now, we're gonna focus on this 20 amp and I'm gonna show you how to get it, or get it installed. Come take a look with me. So before we install this device, we always wanna make sure the circuit is de-energized. I cannot stress safety enough. And if you're a, a seasoned electrician and talk about how you work on things hot, don't. Working on electricity hot is not worth the shock. Even if it's a tingle, it's not worth it. So we're gonna use our presence tester and we're gonna make sure that the hot and the neutral are dead. Now, of course, I know it's de-energized. This is powered by a, 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 an extension cord, guys. Let's just be real, okay? But at your house, you would turn off the breaker and you would test it. It's not hot, so I can work safely. Now, I'm gonna put this plug down here because we got some work to do. We have these two ground wires and we only have one ground screw. So we know that we're gonna have to put these together and do some makeup and make, do you remember what it's called? It's called a pigtail. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna trim this wire down. And guys, we have another video about pigtailing um, that kind of goes in depth on pigtailing and box makeup. I'm just gonna move through this quickly here because um, this isn't about that, this is about a plug come in here, we line up the back of the wires, not the front of the wires. We use linemans to twist it. Do we twist even two wires or up to five? Yes, the answer is always yes. If there are two wires you're gonna twist, I cut them long so I could cut them tight. And then I use a wire nut right here to get that good connection. If there's only two wires or three number 12s, you're allowed to use a yellow wire nut. I like using red wire nuts. I use only yellow wire nuts. When there's two wires, this is three. You accordion it back into the back of the box, and there you go. Now, I'm gonna take these wires, just for cleanliness sake, I'm gonna cut them all to about the same length, and then I'm gonna strip them. Remember, whenever we're making up devices, most problems happen when you just stab them in the back. Now, this is a commercial, this is a commercial plug. So it doesn't have the holes that you stab in the back like a residential, but you can slide the wire underneath that screw. See that there? Slide that wire under that screw and tighten it down. I would urge against that also. I would not do that. I'm going to, just like a switch, strip these a little long and twist them like this. Now I know I was grabbing that ground wire a little more than I should. Um, Cause remember, if you work on wires like they are hot, you reduce your risk of getting shock even if something was to happen. So, oh, sorry. Twisting them like that, creating the hooks. Got my hooks and I'm going to start putting them on. I start with the ground. On a switch, you go ground, switch leg, power. On a receptacle, you're gonna go ground, neutral, power. So I crimp down the ground and tighten it down, like so. Then, 
the neutral. Now remember the neutral goes to the silver screws, not the gold. The hot wires, which sometimes are black, sometimes are red, sometimes are blue. Um, I guess if you were doing high voltage plugs, which I've never done that before, so I don't even think that's a thing, you would have brown, orange, yellow. So we have our neutral wire landing to the silver screw. Flip it around, last wire, the hot wire. Now I did just touch it there, it's something I told you not to do. Get it, get it twisted around there, pinch it tight, there we go. And then we're gonna take our screwdriver and tighten her down. So there's one last step before I put this plug in that I would urge everyone to do, whether it's a commercial or a residential application, and that's wrap some tape around it. Now, I grabbed it out of my bag red tape, doesn't really matter, could be red, black. Slide it under the mounting screw. Be sure that it covers those hot screws and the neutral. I usually do two wraps around and then pull it off. There you go. All energized parts are covered up. You're gonna push the wire back accordion style, get it lined up there. Now in a house, this is how typically plugs look. If you notice next time you go to a industrial place or a commercial place, um, a lot of times the ground screw will be up like this. And you can even see if you zoom in here, it says 20 amp, 120 volts. You can read it with the ground prongs up. So since we're uh, in a commercial building, we're gonna put it this way. Once we get that tight, remember, the way to really set yourself off like a professional is to make sure that these plugs are level. You ever yelled at somebody because of a non-level plug? No, but architects and engineers will, I promise you. So this is a little not level. I got a level here, so I got to loosen this up. Push that over. There we go. There she is. Now it's level. Uh, moved on me a little bit, but boom last thing to do before we test this is to put on the cover now remember when you buy a cover buy the unbreakable buy i think they're called uh i don't even know what they're called but they're not you know if you break it at home depot leave it there just run just run away um, but you don't want to break it at your house and have to go back so i got my plug these unlike switches only have one screw so they're a lot easier to install and when you twist it remember to really look fancy, you want, see how I'm kind of just barely twisting, I don't wanna strip that out, but get that switch to go straight up and down. That's the mark of a true craftsman. So we just went and energized the circuit, good sign. There was no buzzing, no popping, no sparking, so at least we know we didn't cause a short. Now all that's left to do is test it with this plug tester. I'm just gonna plug it in and see if it works. There we go. I know from experience those two lights need to light up. That means that it is a good receptacle installation. Guys, so there you have it. That's the installation of a 20 amp receptacle. So let's go over real quick, what did we learn? We learned the difference between a 20 amp duplex receptacle or plug is shown with this little line right here. Of course, the little writing says 20 amp, but the biggest way to identify it is this. We learned that even though there's two gold and two silver screws, which are for the hot and the neutral, what you wanna do is only wrap around one. That's because you pigtail your devices and only land it with one wire. We, land, we learned just like with a switch, you're going to install it. You're gonna land the ground wire first, the neutral wire second, the hot wire third, and before you push it in and install it, you're gonna wrap it with some tape. As always guys, this is a very easy, common installation, whether it's replacing or adding. If ever you don't feel comfortable, do not put yourself in danger. Do not do something you will regret. Rather, call a licensed professional in your area. If you're in the Kansas City area, of course, we'd love for you to call Empowered Electric at 816-500-9452. And that's a plug.